Hey there and welcome back to another VFX tutorial and today we're gonna discuss hit stops. This actually originated from fighting games or for example games like Smash Bros. Melee so I don't, or for example here Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter and the idea behind it is just you know to amplify a situation where you're getting or doing a hit and then you kind of stop time or you slow it really significantly to amplify the situation, the gravity of the whole thing which is happening. And of course, this is looking pretty visually stunning also with those bling blings around it, so screen shakes and some effects in there. But of course, you can use it on the other side. For example, if you're getting hit, so for example, here in Hollow Knight, you're getting hit and then time is being slowed down. And this is giving the player a longer window of uh, you know, counteracting that and then basically just getting into a spot where you're not getting hit. So this is kind of, you know, a reminder like, hey, something bad is happening, amplify the situation and then, you know, give the player a smaller window of opportunity just to get out of that. So how can we do this similarly in Game Maker? Well, so for example, here a little sample project. So I'm getting and hitting an enemy. And once the enemy is dead, so it has no HP, we are slowing time down. We are creating an uh, overlay of a well, hit animation. And of course, we are doing a screen shake. And of course, this amplifies the whole thing. It's a little bit ridiculous to do that just on a kill. Normally, you would do it on a finisher or I don't know, you, you're killing the boss and then time is slowing down or you're basically just getting hit. But here I just wanted to show you how to do that. So let's go into Game Maker. And the idea is kind of simple. So basically all you, almost all you need to have and understand is game set speed. There are two ways how to set the game set speed. So per milliseconds, this is more important for well, Android or well, mobiles. And here, this is for our, for the regular PC uh, crowd. So here, you just set the game speed in here, set. And then for example, you apply, I don't know what kind of speed you wanna have. Um, a zero is not applyable, so it will be skipped. It needs to be between one and something higher. And basically what you do is just reduce from the default 60 to a bigger one. And then the second one, we have a timer, which is kind of slow. And we are just, you know, running it down. And once you run it down, we destroy the instance. So our hit stop object which we create once and then we just reset the game speed to our 60 default speed that's pretty much it so basically just two things our frame how f slow you want to have it but of course just be aware you are well changing the speed or the refresh rate of the game so let's say for example you we do it with a ridiculous one frame per second so this is going to be really slow and we have a time of 10 you're just expecting ah this is going to go fast also uh, no <laughs> just you know be aware of that so let's say we do it like this and then 10 night as you can see those 10 in quotations frames last quite long so therefore don't do it like this just you know have uh this is of course the the bad thing uh, just do it you know a little bit different and now once again just for um you know the explanation for the video so here we just create a hit stop object which is uh, if it's not there well we create one once the enemy is dead so here is our object enemy then we create an overlaying sprite so the slash thing here and then of course a screenshot so let's see it without and you will see hopefully a bigger difference so let's say we just create nothing here. And as you can see, um, basically zero impact. A little bit of blinking of the enemy, but that's pretty much it. Let's see it once again with. And the difference should be like night and day. Of course, let's a little bit overkill. So just play around with the numbers. But as you can see, this impact for, for every enemy is a little bit annoying. And for speedrunners, they normally disable hit stop effects, so just be aware of that. So if you have a game where speedrunners will be, you know, doing some shenanigans, just have this as an option to toggle it off, so it does not um, exist in the game at all. Just you know to be sure on that part. Alrighty, and that was it then from my side. Have a good one. Wanna bendy.